If a furnace is not heating or the blower is not running, the unit circulation blower motor may be defective. You can help determine this by using a multimeter to test for voltage reaching the motor. While the blower fan motor itself is normally supported on rails near the bottom of the furnace, the motor power wires are connected to a control board that is often located in an upper compartment, so two access panels may need to be removed to reach the components for testing. Be sure to shut off the power supply to the furnace before beginning any disassembly. Refer to the furnace's wiring diagram to identify the circulation blower motor's power input wires. Then disconnect those wires. Look for a voltage designation on the motor or in the wiring diagram. Then set the multimeter selection dial to the appropriate volts AC or volts DC setting. Restore the power supply to the furnace and avoid touching any electrical components with your hands. Be aware, you may need to actuate an access panel switch to maintain the power supply. Set the thermostat to call for heating. Wait approximately 90 seconds, then contact the meter leads to the power input wire terminals for the circulation blower motor. If the meter display indicates that voltage is present and the run capacitor is functioning normally, then the blower motor is likely defective and will need to be replaced. If there is no voltage reaching the blower motor, the furnace's control board is likely at fault and a new board will need to be installed.